If you are trying to learn French or reconnecting with the French that you learned years or decades ago and you're not listening to podcasts in French, you're missing out. Podcasts are entertaining, educational and best of all, they offer an excellent way for you to learn French on the go. You can listen to an episode or two during your daily walks, doing the dishes or any long travel that you have planned for the summer. To help you get started, I want to introduce you to some very popular French podcasts that will help you practice your comprehension and learn more about French culture at the same time. C'est parti! Affaires Sensibles, Sensitive Issues is one of the most popular podcasts in France. With the smooth voice of Fabrice Drouel, this hour-long podcast dives deep into old cases from the 50s to the 2000s. Often forgotten stories, these Affaires Sensibles can cover true crime, cultural events, political thrillers, industrial disasters and more. For instance, here is a short audio clip. Dans la poche de sa veste, les enquêteurs découvrent un petit carnet dans lequel se trouve un nom, Marguerite, et un numéro de téléphone. Il remonte la piste jusqu'à une charcuterie de la rue Mignard dans le 16e arrondissement de Paris. You will find a full transcript and the translation for this clip in the written notes for this lesson on my website. That's also where you will get the links to all the podcasts that I will cover today and more insights, resources and recommendations so you can browse the lesson at your own pace. It's all free, just click on the link below the video in the description. But anyway, did you understand all the words in this clip? Did you hear what he said? If not, that's normal. French people tend to speak very fast. That's why podcasts can be such a great tool for you because you can slow them down very easily. Dans la poche de sa veste, les enquêteurs découvrent un petit carnet dans lequel se trouve un nom, Marguerite. This option can help you understand French better and practice French understanding at your leisure. And of course, you can pause and rewind as well. And by the way, let's pause this lesson for a second and talk about French podcasts in general. You can find a ton of French podcasts on the major platforms like Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And you also have podcasts that are tailored for people learning French. These can also be great tools for your French immersion at home. Or you can try listening to the podcast that French people are actually listening. Now, to be honest, most of them are une émission de radio, a radio show. And those episodes have been uploaded as podcasts. Like Affaires Sensibles, for instance. It is a program that is broadcast on public radio France Inter. France Inter. And it is on air every weekday in the afternoon. French people are still starting to listen to podcasts, mostly young adults. So there are no big names that are famous for podcasting yet. And yet some podcasts are not made for radio and still gather a large audience. For example, Transfer with the silent T. Transfer, transfer. It is a French podcast by Slate.fr, Slate.fr, that features true intimate stories from various anonymous storytellers. The listener steps into their shoes for the length of an episode. It is between 20 minutes and an hour, and it is a very intimate audio experience. It's all about compelling stories that can be ordinary or extraordinary. Pendant ce week-end, j'en profite pour aller euh, au commissariat pour déposer une main courante. Comme ça, euh, les flics sont au courant de cette histoire. Et si jamais il se passe quelque chose, si jamais elle vient rôder ou que qu'elle fait quelque chose, qu'elle passe à l'action, bah, je les appelle et ils débarqueront plus vite. In this short clip, by the way, we have some useful vocabulary for any crime drama, such as le commissariat. Le commissariat is the police station. Le commissariat. Le commissariat. Déposer une main courante is literally dropping a running hand. Déposer une main courante. It is the French name for a handrail and it means filing an incident report. Déposer une main courante. Déposer une main courante. It is a lower stake version of porter plainte, which is filing a complaint or pressing charges. Porter plainte. Porter plainte. She also mentions un flic, which is French for a cop. Un flic. 
It is more informal. Uh, the more formal, polite word would be un policier or une policière. Un policier or une policière or un agent de police or une agente de police. That's the one that you will find in newspapers. For example, the very famous one, Le Monde. Le Monde. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jean-Guillaume Santi et il est l'heure du monde. L'heure du monde, l'heure du monde, literally, the hour of the world, is the daily podcast of the newspaper Le Monde. Each episode actually runs for around 20 minutes and it provides some insights about the day's news according to a journalist from Le Monde. From politics to economics to technology, it can be a good way to practice your French while getting the point of view of this famous French newspaper on the world and its issues. It boasts one of the largest audience among French podcasts. Here is a clip about a random episode about le moustique tigre, the tiger mosquito that recently spread in France. Ok, donc un moustique particulièrement désagréable pour nous l'été. Et quand on parcourt les témoignages des habitantes et habitants des communes infectées euh, que tu as recueillies, on prend la mesure de cette nuisance. You can notice some vocabulary here as well. We have le moustique for the mosquito. Le moustique in French. Le moustique. We also have une commune. Une commune. It is the official administrative word for a city in French. Les habitantes et habitants. Les habitantes et habitants. It is the inhabitants, the residents, first in feminine, then in masculine. Les habitantes et habitants. In French, the masculine plural is les habitants, and that could technically cover both men and women. But more and more people will try to include both genders explicitly, especially in the media and official speeches, with the feminine plural first. It is a sign of politeness towards women. And finally, we have E. E is the filler word that we use when we're not sure about our words and we are looking for them. I tell you more about E in my lesson about French filler words. This one is also on my blog post for today's lesson with the transcript of this full lesson. La Tribune des Critiques de Disques, France Musique, Jérémy Rousseau. La Tribune des Critiques de Disques is another radio program on public radio France Musique. It's actually the oldest still running radio program in France. It was created in 1946. 1946. And you can now listen to it on podcast platforms around the world. It is a unique space where every Sunday music critics gather to dissect analyze and debate classical music recordings. Each two hour long episode is dedicated to a specific work with three critics providing their insights and perspectives. The audience can follow along, listen to different recordings of the same music and dive very deep into the depth of classical European music. Totalement, j'ai ouais. trouvé qu'il y avait un, un naturel absolu dans cette version et puis une, une puissance toujours très contenue euh, avec l'exposition de ce thème voilà, très majestueux. The music critics talk with a very elegant vocabulary and grammar. Yet, they use filler words such as « e » or « voilà » like most French people in everyday conversation. But let's switch to something a little less highbrow, yet still smart. Cet été, je vous fais écouter ou réécouter les meilleurs podcasts, choses à savoir. Choses à savoir, things to know, choses à savoir is a French podcast network made of several podcasts, each around a big theme, like science, history, world, or la culture générale, general knowledge, la culture générale. Each episode is only two minutes long. If you want, you can even fully translate each episode. That's a good exercise for you. Chose à savoir has the largest audience for French podcasts. Alors ce qui a mis la puce à l'oreille des chercheurs, c'est que depuis l'introduction de techniques de traite plus modernes, les trous de l'émental étaient beaucoup moins nombreux. Yes, mettre la puce à l'oreille, mettre la puce à l'oreille is a French expression for catching the attention. Mettre la puce à l'oreille. Literally, it means putting a flea in your ear. 
It sounds pretty crazy, but it is not as crazy as some stories from our next podcasts. Méta de choc, méta de choc. Méta de choc, méta de choc is a pun for état de choc, a state of shock and méta, basically, thinking about thinking. This podcast dives into why we think what we think with deep dives into modern new age spirituality, modern cults, but also explanations about popular theory that sound much more scientific and grounded than what they actually are. The podcaster Elizabeth Fetit is a former new age believer. She interviews people with a direct experience with a given movement and help them share their journey. It's sometimes dark, often surprising and even funny. Meta de choc is not mainly about passing judgment. It is much more about realizing how we could end up believing the weirdest things. And it is fascinating. Mais qu'est-ce qu'on t'a répondu concrètement quand toi t'as envoyé ton message à l'association de CNV en France bah, Je crois que ça a semé un peu la confusion et l'inquiétude là en face. Et pour moi, ça pourrait être vraiment dans les mésusages de la CNV. Here we can notice the feel the word BA, 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 but also the acronym CNV for la communication non violente. La communication non violente, non-violent communication. It is the topic of a five-part series by Meta de Choc, where a former CNV expert tells us how he realized that the movement around CNV actually had some weird ramifications and darker uses. But let's end our lesson for today on a much more positive note. Club Citrouillade is a podcast of original stories for children. My son and I love this podcast. They're small adventures of un groupe de copains et de copines, a group of friends. The voice acting is cute, the plots are fun, and the music is fantastic. We are big, big fans of Club Citrouillade. In one episode, the friends play cash, cash, hide and seek. Cash, cash in French. The seeker is Vampire le Vampire, Vampire le Vampire, the young, friendly vampire. His name is not a normal one. It sounds like the normal Jean-Pierre, Jean-Pierre, but because he has vampire teeth, he can't say it like that. So he's called Vampire, Vampire. His vampire teeth give him a speech impediment. Can you hear it when he pronounces the S sound? He's looking for Momo, his friend, who is une momie. Une momie, a mummy. Alors, qui est là? Personne fou mon lit, personne derrière les rideaux, personne dans le placard. Trouvez Momo! Ah, je suis la dernière? J'ai gagné? They're all monsters and they're all very cute. The whole vibe is very upbeat and positive, and we love listening to it in the car together. Now tell me, which podcast do you listen to? Tell me in the comments below. I want also to know about your recommendations of French podcasts for other students. You will also find more recommendations about podcasts that I love that didn't fit in today's lesson in the blog post for today's video. It's really cool, it's free, and again, it's just for you. You will find the links to it in the description below the video. And now you can go and pick a podcast episode that you want to listen to, even at half speed if you want. Or you can keep learning and practicing real fast modern French with a full lesson on understanding everyday spoken French. Click right here on your screen and I will see you in the next video. Allez, à tout de suite.